Hey guys, so I think I'm going to start with this uh, American Challenge Lock by Trekmaster30, the 1100 series, because it's got a bunch of extra keys that aren't for this one, that go to some of the other locks, so I think that's, that's a sign that we're supposed to pick this one first here, so let's give it a shot. I haven't picked an American in a long time, I mean it's been probably a month or two and I am very out of practice with these so hopefully he doesn't have something too nasty in here and he takes it easy on me but so we're going to use 50 thousandths top of the keyway uh, from Peterson Americans nice wide open it's a south or deep hook let's see what we got in here Little click on five. Another click on five. Another click on five. Feels springy now. Barely touched four. Got a click at four. Little counter rotation. Another click. Now oh, he feels set. Barely touched two, got a click. Another little click. Another little click. Oh, there we go. Got a little bit of a turn on the core on two. One is giving us counter rotation. Got a click, still binding. There we go, got another turn on the core on one. I think he's set now. Three is giving me counter rotation. Oh man, that has got to be a really deep spool. There's three. There we go. There he finally went past the share line. Okay. Nothing on five. Nothing on four. Three. Two. Nothing on one. Just barely lifted four. I think we either got a turn or we're back in the false set that we were in. We're in a really deep false set, maybe. I don't know. Oh, that little click on one, it felt like. Another click on two. Another big click on two and another turn. He's giving me counter rotation again. There's three. These Americans, you gotta always check, make sure you don't have it open. Five feels set. Four doesn't seem to want to move. On three. I think that was two. We just kind of touched it and it. Clicked a little bit. I don't know what was going on there. And one feels set. Don't cat. Don't chew on the cardboard. Come on. Okay, one's not going anywhere. Three doesn't want to go anywhere. Four doesn't want to go 
go anywhere. Oh, there's counter rotation on five. I don't know how I missed that earlier. Still not open. What's well, giving me a counter rotation? I think I got him. No, still not open. One feels set. Two feels set. Three feels set. Four, I think, is set. Five is not going anywhere. How could counter rotation? Maybe a hair of counter rotation if I shove them really hard. Let's check everybody else and then if we get nothing, we'll take a risk on them. One is definitely set. Two, I think. Is set. Three is set. I think four is set. Jeez, it feels like six clicks on five to get him. There's four, still giving me kind of rotation. Okay. I think four is set. More of a turn on three. I think he feels set. still up we can there's count rotation on two okay I think two is set one set two is set a little bit of count rotation on three there we go got three still out open or feel set. We're back to five again. This is what we tried last time. What the heck? Oh, there went everything. <sighs> Gonna need a little bit more tension than that. Here it falls out.
so much crunch back there. Five and four feel set now. There's three. Actually, that must have been two. There's one with counter rotation. Okay, you got a little bit of a turn. Rotation on two. One and two feel set. Click on it. There we go. Three must be like a T pin or something. I just barely touched him. Oh man. 11 and a half minutes. Sorry guys, taking a little while. I don't know what you got in here, track, but it is nasty. Man, that clip is on there. That guy does not want to come off. Oh, I felt a move. We have moved a hair. Ah, there we go. That guy was really stuck on there. Holy cow. Alright, let's try and do this without screwing everything up. Pins are up. Whew, made it through. Good. I don't have any shims at the moment, so I'm glad that worked. Oh, there's one and two. Oh boy. What are we got going on here? Okay, one is pin and pin. I don't know where that came from. Probably because my follower is not a perfect size. Must have come from up top. and spool type thing. Two. Oh, well that, okay, that's where that came from. Two is a really nice serrated, but it has a hole in it. The hole is facing this way, so this must have been inside of there. Three is a spool. There's our T-pin, serrated T-pin on four. And a serrated on five. Oh, got more disconnecting here. 
Let me get the springs out too, just in case there's something different about these springs. Okay, springs all look standard, so. is a pin and pin, two is a pin and pin, and one had a pin and pin key pin. And then we've got a really sharp spool key pin, a standard serrated key pin, a serrated pin, come on, a serrated pin with like a spool really down low on it. It's just a regular standard pin and two. And then up top, one is a, it's got a little serration and then like a double spool. That's a serrated, that is a pin and pin. The serrations on. I don't know what happened with the camera there. It just stopped recording for some reason. But must be running out of space or something. Here's a T pin serrated on four. Serrated pin and pin on five again. And then in the core, looks like we have serrations on two, three, and five. One and two are empty, just normal. And up top, we've got serrations on one. Four and five. Two and three look standard. So, that's what we got out of this American from Trekmaster. So that was an absolutely amazing lock. I have never faced a pin and pin like these before. This was incredible. So excellent work, Trekmaster. That was a blast to pick. Sorry the video's so long, guys. So I'll end it here quick for you so you can get moving on. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and we'll get more videos out to you soon.